Hello, my name is Angela Turner and I was one of the consultants for the Piano Syllabus Review. It was a great pleasure to work within this team of consultants um, as part of this review, uh, which started about two years ago now. My, my primary focus within the review team was to look at the repertoire for Level 1, so to make selections for the Series 18 grade books, uh, so preliminary to Grade 4, and also to review and refresh the manual lists. As you can imagine, this was a fairly time-consuming task. Um, it involved being surrounded by mountains of music for, for a long time, um, which is definitely a, a wonderful thing. Uh, truth be told, it's, it's one of my favourite things to, to do. So I was looking for pieces that would hopefully allow pianists um, our, our early level pianists um, to explore what the piano felt like and sounds like and, and to help them really engage with the instrument from this early stage. So I was looking for pieces that were pedagogically clear, that were incredibly valuable um, in themselves as learning experiences, but also vibrant. So trying to find pieces that were striking in their, their beauty or character or energy um, other pieces that might, might require a degree of mental organisation uh, and other pieces that you could just lose yourself in. I reviewed somewhere in the vicinity of 30,000 pieces over the first 12 months and that started off by um, playing through every piece in the existing manual lists, making notes, doing some analyses and just reminding myself of some of the great things that were already there. I then flew to a number of the sheet music publishers in the country, to their warehouses. Um, I visited the AMC, the um, Australian Music Centre, and spent some time there. And yeah, spent a few days just working through thousands and thousands of pieces from different publishers, countries, eras, styles. And I think one of the, the joys of piano repertoire, certainly at level one, um, was also one of the great challenges. There, there's so much fabulous music out there. We have some fabulous Australian composers, um, some modern composers, say in the last 20, 20 years or so, who write with such comfort, pedagogical comfort at the keyboard. Um, and alongside that, we have our, our standard repertoire, um, our core composers at this level. And I'm sure that students and teachers will have their favourites of um, the, the family, the Mozart family, the, the Bach family, um, Gerlitt, Bergmuller, Kabalevsky, Bartok, these, these composers that we, uh, you know, have long held up as our favourites. And I wanted to explore their collections as well, of course, um, to see if there were pieces in there that we had, uh, were yet to discover as our, our new favourites. Um, so this was a process that really could have gone on for forever, um, but over the two years, as I said, we, we worked from a, a starting pool of about 30,000, made a short list of 2,000, and eventually whittled that down to 60 or so pieces for the gradebook selections. It was quite challenging uh, to get it down to that 60, uh, and... As a result, I think teachers and students who have already seen the manual lists will see that they've been considerably expanded. Um, there are some, some real gems in there, and I, I hope that teachers will, will take the time to, to really um, look through there and, and find some, some fresh new selections, lots of repertoire that's incredibly fun to play. So as, as an examiner, as a teacher, uh, I'm, I'm just really excited um, about the level one repertoire and I, I can't wait to hear what what students will do with this um, and uh, yeah hopefully play this for many years to come. One of the other components that I'm really looking forward to uh, is the collaborative syllabus. I, I was thrilled to make some selections of duets with uh, David Lockett and Helen Smith and Glenn Riddle and Janelle Carrigan. And alongside these duets, we have some wonderful instrumental works, um, which, you know, together form this, this wonderful resource now. And 
I can't think of a, a better thing um, than to encourage our our young developing musicians to to explore this repertoire to engage in the world of playing music with other people and and developing their listening skills and ensemble skills so um, I'm, I'm really really excited about uh, about seeing how that goes <laughs>